Hello everyone, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only. Today we're going to be talking about some verbal and non-verbal ways to communicate to your partner about sex or sexual difficulties that you may be having. So I'm going to start with the non-verbal, um, just because these are a little bit easier to do, a little bit less confrontational, um, and something that I definitely recommend doing. I do this pretty much every single time I have sex with someone, um, until they kind of get to know me and my body, um, and it's a really easy way to talk to them about what you like and dislike in the bedroom. So some of the non-verbal things that you can do is one, you can actually place your hand over your partners during a sexual experience and show them how you like to be touched, the pressure, the speed, um, what's going to bring you pleasure. So actually just showing and guiding them is a really um, easy and kind of hot way to tell your partner what you enjoy without having to say it verbally to them. You're actually just showing them. Two, you can make noises during sex when something feels good. So you can moan or say yes or I like that um, so just making any kind of sort of sound or noises um, when they're doing something that you actually are enjoying versus staying silent can help kind of cue them to continue to do that thing and the third way is to show your partner actually how you like to stimulate yourself so obviously try to practice um, masturbation and solo sex so you know your own body first before you kind of get into a sexual experience with someone else um, and then during sex you can always kind of take over and show them like hey why don't you just watch what I do to myself first and then they can kind of see again visualize and then do the same thing to you um, themselves so those are the three nonverbal ways and then some verbal ways that you can communicate to your partner about sex is first a set aside a good time to talk Talk. So a time when your partner is not stressed out, when you're not stressed out, um, where the tension is really low. Um, I always recommend actually going on a walk just because you can kind of talk side to side and you don't have to have that direct eye contact. Um, so just some place and time that's really easy where the tension's not high and when you guys both aren't stressed. Next, when you're bringing up these conversations, you want to know exactly what you want and you want to be very honest. So when you're coming into these conversations, um, it can be a little bit tense and awkward. So being super clear in the way that you're communicating um, and not kind of getting tripped up around your words or saying something that you don't mean because this person's going to take whatever you're saying as fact. Um, so you really want to be sure of yourself and know what you're going to talk about. I always recommend practicing in like a mirror before or even practicing with a friend if you can. Um, just saying kind of it out loud to yourself so you hear how it sounds before you speak it to your partner. Then you want to talk about the positives. You, we always want to enunciate on the positives. So I really like it when you kiss my neck or when you play with my nipples. It really turns me on. I enjoy, you know, when I'm on top, um, saying different things like that in a positive manner. Like it really turns me on when you do this or when I do this. Um, helps them understand, okay, let's do more of that during the sexual experience instead of framing it in the negative aspect of, I hate when you touch me like this or I hate when you do that because that is going to be super, super defensive to your partner um, and it might put them on the defense or probably will put them on the defense uh, and they'll just shut down and not want to say anything or try anything at all. However, I do want to say that sometimes it is very important to tell your partner something that they're doing that you absolutely do not like. Um, so if they keep doing something and you're moving away from it, just clearly saying, hey, it doesn't feel good when you do this, or I don't like when this has happened. Um, or you can even say in a previous sexual experience before you have sex with a new partner, um, you know, these are the things that aren't on the table for me. These are the things that I don't like. Please don't touch me here or do these things to me. Um, it's just a great way to kind of have these conversations. Um, but again, um, trying to do it in a kind way and in a nice way and doing it as early on as possible. Obviously, if they start doing something that you've never experienced before, you can just say, hey, that, that doesn't actually feel that good to me. Can you try doing this instead? Or I like it better when you do this. Um, always speaking in I terms, I talk about that a lot on this channel, so I feel this way, I think this, not you do this and you did that. Um, I just helps, again, articulate how you're feeling. It's not saying it's necessarily a fact, um, but it's just how you're feeling and then your partner will, again, be less on the defense. You want to also make requests rather than demands. <laughs> um, nobody likes to be told what to do unless you're kind of maybe going through some role play thing in the bedroom, but you want to make requests as much as possible. So I would really enjoy it if you could do this would that be possible instead of I need you to do this if you don't do this then you know we're not having sex um, again 
communication in any aspect of your life, even outside of sex, is so important. Um, when we make a request, when we use you know positive reinforcement, when we say thank you to people, when we compliment people, that's all the stuff that drives people to want to have better and more open relationships with us. And then when we blame, shut down, um, you know, demand of people, it makes them not want to do things. So always just being super thoughtful and considerate in the way that you're conversing. And then lastly, um, try to meet your partner halfway, uh, compromise, ask them what they're looking for, ask them how you can improve. Um, opening up that conversation even first, like, hey, like, how do you feel about our sex life? Is there anything I could be doing differently? Are you looking for anything differently? Do you wanna try anything different? Do you like the way I touch you here? Like, talking to them first about their needs and then having them ask you back about yours um, and meeting them halfway and kind of coming to compromises and understanding each other's bodies more is what's gonna help open up more open and honest communication around sex and it's gonna make your sex lives so much better. So those are all the tips I had for verbal and nonverbal communication around expressing sexual difficulties with your partner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe because that really helps this channel. Also give us a follow at CVO Wellness on Instagram. We share tons of information about sex, relationships, dating, um, all the things, yoga. So give us a follow at CVO Wellness. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you for another video shortly.